watercoloring in 90 gsm bullet journal from menora which is not a good option for watercoloring i have done a comparison video with all these notepads i will link the video in the description and at the top right corner of this video let me know if you want me to make a video showing the watercolor comparison for all these notepads After the paint is completely dry, I write February with my fine liner.
Also, I add these little stars around the cloud. These are very simple to make but looks really pretty. On the next two pages, I prepare the February calendar. I like to have a big calendar in the monthly setups as I write some of the to-dos and reminders for the coming weeks mostly in the calendar itself. I'm drawing those clouds on the space above the calendar where I'm going to write February and uh, the monthly goals. I am coloring the first row with pink and purple alternately where I am going to write the day of the week. On the right side of the calendar I am making four boxes each for a week to write down weekly goals. This year's February calendar is so satisfying because it fits into four weeks exactly. The next spread is for habit tracker and mood tracker. I am tracking them together to compare my mood of the day to my habits and routines I want to incorporate. I'm not making any clouds on this spread as I want to keep this spread simple. I'm just painting some boxes with watercolor where I write the habits or routines and the box in which I'm tracking the mood. I'm mapping the mood tracker against the habits and routines which are having direct impact on my mood every day. 
This will help me understand what does a day look like when I'm happy or sad. For instance, I will be in a good mood if I am able to do my morning routine and cleaning routine in a day. I like to track the mood in a graph so that it's easy to understand for me. Also, I like to have space for notes next to the mood tracker to write down what went right or wrong which affected my mood that day. This is the tracker from the month January. The graph would look something like this. The next spread is for gratitude and brain dump. This is also a simple spread where I'm painting clouds. The colors I mixed came out dark and I didn't do a test before going in with the colors. So I let the colors be darker in the spread. I'm writing gratitude and drawing a line around the page, not touching the cloud so that it looks like the grid is behind the clouds. I hope you enjoy the video and have a great day.